special to me. And I want it to be special to you, and I can't force that to happen right now. And what if it's bad? And <laughs> also, what about, what about this? Here's another reason. Um, what if you hear it now, and you're like, oh, hey, song, blah, blah, blah. And maybe it goes on YouTube somewhere, and you're like, oh, yeah, listen to it again. But it's not going to be on an album, like, forever. And then by the time it's on an album, you'll be like, Psh, that song is so old and stupid. Is that a problem? <laughs> I give lots of disclaimers. I can't help but do this every time I play a song for the first time. Um, what, what will I do? Um, I might forget the words. I've only sung it like ten times. And, shoot, I can't think of them anymore. <laughs> I love giving disclaimers and I can't think of good ones. <sighs> well, oh, here. Also, in your imagination, there should be two other really awesome harmonies the entire time. So incorporate that into your judgment. <laughs> And I had thought I got over the being afraid thing. I was like, Psh, I'm so cool in a cabin by myself, <laughs> whatever. And then I hear a sound downstairs. Like, not like a crack, not like a house creaking, but like a... So then, so then it's, okay, there's a person in the house. They're gonna kill me. <laughs> what do I do? So I remained still for maybe 20 minutes. Didn't do anything. Then I start texting everyone I know, mostly my manager. He was the first one. I'm like, okay, I am freaking out. I can't move. I can't talk. Um, what do I do? I think someone's in my. Okay, I'm going crazy. I know I'm going crazy, but I can't move and I can't make a sound. So this goes on and on. I start texting my sisters, my parents. They're like, let me call you. I'm like, no, you can't call because if I talk, they'll know. <laughs> so I'm literally an hour and a half. I'm just. Sitting in this chair, like, oh my gosh. And then, and then I see the mouse run downstairs. So, at that point, I'm pretty sure it's the mouse, but I still can't move. Eventually, my dad had to like force me to go. He's like, you need to go downstairs. You're being irrational, freaking out. Just go. We're okay. And then I carried a knife with me for the rest of that night. 